So I'm Gavin Parker, a rural physician here in Pincher Creek, Alberta. Uh, I've worked here since 2007. Um, I did the, I'm a graduate of the Rural Residency Program, so I did the Rural Alberta South Program from 2004 to 2006, and I did medical school uh, from 2000 to 2004 up in Edmonton at the U of A. You know, my interest in rural medicine is an interesting story and connects right back to RPAP. I, uh, I was, I believe, a second year medical student and I went on an RPAP uh, weekend and uh, we went out to Hinton. I had done my undergraduate degree in neuroscience and was quite convinced that I was going to be a neurosurgeon, but I saw the opportunity to have a, you know, a free mountain weekend and RPAP was kind enough to take us and our spouses skiing at uh, Jasper on the Sunday, so I thought, oh sure, well I could do some skill stations and learn about this career and go skiing, like sounds like a fun weekend. And, so I, uh, I took, uh, you know, my wife came with me and, and some colleagues of mine and um, it was interesting. A lot of things really opened my eyes. It was the first time I'd ever seen a doctor wearing jeans and, and not wearing, you know, like kind of you know, stuffy suit and shirt and tie. Um, and, it, and it really opened my eyes to how happy rural doctors were. A lot of them would introduce me to their, you know, first wife, not their third wife. And so I thought that that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good sign that rural medicine is where it's at. Over the years, I, I've had tremendous support from RPAP. So I was a rural resident, so the rural residency program being heavily supported by, by RPAP and being honestly uh, co-founded in a sense between RPAP and, and, the, and the two universities. Um, it really was the thing that, that sealed the deal for me to be a rural doctor and especially be a rural doctor in Alberta. I saw how advantageous it is to work and, and live in this province. Um, I also had the opportunity to do further enrichment training last summer. I went up to Edmonton for three weeks and did training in cardiac stress testing and so I, was, I got an enrichment uh, grant from RPAP from that. And so that now with my current position I, I kind of uh, figured, boy, I've gotten so many advantages at our RPAP over the years, I should probably pitch in and, and help. And uh, so I've been on the RPAP board for two and a half years, I think now. And I, I sit on the Finance and Audit Committee and the Education Committee as well, too. And, uh, and that's, been, that's been great. I've, I've really appreciated the opportunity to, to give back and to help chart a, a, a new I wouldn't say necessarily a new course, but you know, expand the course that RPAP is currently on, and to help as many people, uh, you know, discover the the joys of, you know, rural medicine. You know, if for, I'm, I'm I'm a city kid born in in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I didn't know anything about you know working as a country doctor, and I I RPAP is singularly responsible for where I find myself today, and so anything I can do to help the organization, I'm very happy to do so.